Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today I want to show you some haul. The school supplies, I got some of this magical stuff. I really like this box. I bought it from the Target and um, they have little bit of compartment so you can put your pencils, the crayons and stuff like that. Um, so I really liked it and maybe you will get it other also. I bought it from Target. Then I also bought some of the supplies from um, as well as Walmart also. So I got this really bright color Sharpies and I really always like these pencil box. I have most of them and I love to put them like my stuff like here I put my all die cut outs for my upcoming project and uh, you can put a paints on you can do all the crazy stuff with them then another thing i bought is these markers now so i bought an extra set for myself and my kid i really like those markers and we can create some nice um fun thing with them and another thing i bought it this uh, puncher i already have one but i thought one more should be nice I gotta keep it here then another fun thing i bought this broad markers like you know this chisel tip the uh these are kind of any surface and i thought it will be really nice for my mark making as well as my other drawing and creative stuff because it have that big chisel strip and <clears throat> another thing i bought is this uh, different kind of crayon so these are kind of um you know these colors are like they put the kindness but the colors are really uh, muted one i can say these are not the bright regular crayons and i really like them and i can put them here also um, after opening them and another pack of crayon i bought is this one so these are kind of bright and bold and kind of you know glowing night but this will be very very nice on the black color paper and I loved it uh, for using on the black color paper also and one another I've got for me is the glitter one so yeah I got crazy with them and I like them so much and you will get more things and then when I bought these twistable crayons um, I just bought it I thought that it would be nice to have those and then I bought this cute little poster tape. I think it's from the Target also and then again these kind of boxes where you can put all your crayons together so they're gonna fit nicely and then i bought uh, these stuff to put my more paper and more stuff like that so this all thing i bought from there and um, so we'll make some kind of project with all these supplies uh, and basically I want to create one very fast project like we will do the mark making with it and <clears throat> so I will put all these these are um, water soluble fine markers so yeah I'm gonna just remove them and put all of them so it's easy to use for me and oh there are more I like some of these shades I don't have these shades and we can create cards as well as another art with these kind of supplies I just want to show you like how easy it would be to create some kind of fun project with these and let's open these sharpies also Now for our project, I always work, I love to work, I must say, and yeah, I bought one scissors also, I always need a good scissor, I'm planning to buy, I, I don't know where I put my Tim Holtz thing, um, that is Tatanem scissor, that is the good option to do, but we will work whatever we have today, I'm choosing the cancel white paper, um, to create, and this is the glue bound, so you will get this kind of stuff. 
we are using here watercolor just because it's a heavy and it's gonna take all of the crazy stuff we will do on this uh, you can put it um, down like put it like with the cello tape or something like that so that it's gonna stay together here so these markers so if I start with these markers and I can create some kind of stuff on it and then I can spritz little bit of water so you can see uh, they will move around okay so that's the fun part and if you use these one these are kind of permanent markers so these will not move so let's hold all the colors together and we will create one kind of abstract pattern here I'm not going in a rainbow order or I'm not going in any order here I'm just uh, taking all the colors and I'm just kind of combining them to see how they look together so basically we are just scrubbing the things and we are creating our own pattern here don't worry you can just smudge together like here I am doing if you contaminate any of these you can just put little bit water or wipe out with it and it will be fine so in this pack there are lots of shades of yellows and pinks and blues so we are working here with the yellows and we will add little bit here and then we can spritz our water and you can see they are mixing together now you can move your paper or you can just you know move the colors here or another effect you can do here is you can have your sponge and just you know so you will get two kind of texture tone effect here it will help to mix also and so this is our kind of pinkish palette now we can create a blue and green palette here also so here we will I just want to tell you that how watercolor supplies also we can turn them into the cards and I'm not using the black here I don't want to you know things get muddy or something like that I will put this blue more then I will go this lighter shades now here you can just see I'm just scrubbing the things I'm not much concerned about how they're gonna look together or something like that I'm just scrubbing together I forgot to add this one so I just add that in middle one then I will go a little bit of lighter shade of green it's kind of a parrot green then I will go with the different shades of green and they have so many colors still I didn't use the skin color brown color as well as the black color and then we use almost all the less than 20 like 17 colors from them and then after scrubbing it again we'll just spritz it with the water Now again we can move this 
or if you like like I like this really nice um, texture is coming out here I will use my sponge to put that extra water or you can just it's okay if you don't like that sponge effect and then it needs to be dry for some time and then we will use our other markers as well as these colors uh, for the more effect and we can use those we will see those how those crayons are gonna work on this also so while this water is it's not dry yet it's kind of still wet we can try this twistables not the original crayon that we can try this twistables there and I'm just putting out all these twistables these are the basic normal crayon you have and you know I just want to see how they do here so I think better that we should wait to dry the water and then we will do the stuff and you can see that we will get here a different kind of C kind of this kind of coral kind of thing going on here and I'm gonna put it down just for drying you can put some heavy stuff on sides if you want to now put the paper dry nicely flat or you can just tape it down with the masking tape so after drying this paper i'm just uh, getting that mark which i put the pencil box there but it's okay i will not bother about that and then um i will just cut them into five by seven which is which is standard a2 size cardstock or you can go ahead and make it four and a quarter by five uh, card front now if you are more of the concern about what I am talking and you are not a crafter and you just want to do it by your style just bought the store base um, card base like you can get them in a michaels amazon everywhere and then this is like this is the big sheet it is 5 by 10 sheet you can fold them in a half and you will get 5 by 7 card base and if you don't have this card sheet it's okay you can use the kids um, paper like the construction paper or any printer paper will also do so basic idea is here is your kids and you can create a simple DIY cards for your teachers or their friends birthday or something like that so these twistable crayons I thought it was a fun so I decided to use make stars on them and uh, you can go ahead and make it it's more beautiful more creative you can add marks you can use your pencil scales and you can create a pattern like the gingham pattern the checkered pattern you can go crazy and do like how much you can do on it here i'm just going through the very simple methods very basic methods but you can explore i just want to give you an idea that what you can do and if you want to see more ideas leave a comment if there is a one comment still i will make those videos to show you more craft ideas with your kids supplies which you or your kids can make so if you see this background these are so nice the splash of colors you can choose your own colors also i just want to show you all the colors that's why i use all the colors again you don't need a paper uh, trimmer for this and you know you can make a circular card also you can just put a bowl and you know cut it apart and put them on a card base again cut it apart uh, with the scissors and you will get shape kind of thing you can use any shapes you have maybe you can use plates bowls any hexagonal thing or any box you have so you will get that uh, so now um, here uh, there are some more crayons so I bought so I uh, this year I bought these uh, kind of brighter ones the kindness one uh, some of these glittery ones uh, so just these are very cheap one and you can go ahead and bought those so I just half fold the paper here draw the shape and cut out the heart out of its shape and now you can color that heart shape uh, you can use is as a DIY stencils you can make a circle stars or if you have a stencils you can use those also uh, I just want to give you that you know ideas that you can go ahead and do that kind of stuff here I'm not making a very beautiful or very pleasant cards I'm just trying to making very simple cards like you can use circles the bottle caps 
just find what you have in your home and just get creative um, and just draw something so now this is quite a bigger one with the chisel tip and i'm using that to creating the pattern here and you can see that the pattern is so beautiful you can create this pattern directly on the paper or you can use your uh, ruler scale and you can make a diagonal buffalo pattern or square pattern or checkered pattern go crazy with your markers and you will um, like you're gonna amaze how they're gonna look and how you will get more and more out of it now after doing this one i'm just you know using the pencil here to write a thanks um if you want to elevate this you can just use a thanks sticker or you can print out the thanks sentiment from your printer you can cut it apart and it will look more polished but i just want to show you the simple things so that why i'm using this so you can go ahead you can make this card for thanksgiving you can make this card for teachers appreciation if your kiddo is very good in art and craft and he or she loves to do it um these will be the amazing projects to do with them it's kind of a saturday night or sunday morning and uh, both of you can sit and you have a team of the mother and the kid and you can create lots and lots of these cards you can write happy birthday you can write thank you you can write sorry and you can create ton of this card with the different ideas and i i always think that kids are more creative than us like they can imagine whatever we can't imagine we lose our imagination power <laughs> in the process of growing uh, so just give them a little bit chance to do it my kid now he is not in the crafting that's why he is not sitting with me at this moment but when he was like a little bit uh, smaller than now he was uh, so he so it's it is like just don't force them to do it just like if he don't wants to do it i always say it's okay you do, you don't have to do it but i want to share this option and if your kid is really really want to do it i think um they'll get more and more uh, ideas out of it they can draw balloons they can draw flowers um they'll grow crazy with it and if you have a stickers you can just create these backgrounds and put the star stickers or that smiley stickers emg stickers um flower stickers and they can create a beautiful background or these kind of backgrounds are very beautiful for all those stickers means you have a handmade thing going on there and still um you know you you can create it very easily you don't have to be artist for this uh, like here i'm using that corolla pen and i'm just adding little bit water to getting shading and show you this technique and then um uh, if you don't want to do that you can add the pencil marks to it and that will show those grains and lines on it then i'm using just fuzzy cut on these things uh, if you're not comfortable that your kid should do this um you can do it and then you can create only the circle the scribble circles and you can cut them or you can cut the scribble circles first for them like you can cut the circles out of this paper or any shape out of this paper and then ask them to add more doodle on them more creativity more lines or something like that and they will be the happy by using all these supplies and if they are in creative process um you can ask them to add a uh, black marks on them if they are comfortable that will also a nice doodle so after this i'm just adding this on the card and just giving an idea that how uh, you can go ahead and do that uh, now you have to keep one thing in your mind that you can elevate this card by any means um adding more things uh, more embellishment or more creativity or more fine uh, things to them uh, if you want to uh, learn that i already posted one simple easy watercolor video where i create a very simple watercolor cards and you can get some inspiration from them uh, if you don't like this idea you don't have to make the same cards you can go ahead and create uh, your own things by taking the basic steps from this and let your creativity explore let's have fun today <laughs> with all those kid supplies and i'm just adding their clouds i'm just uh, you know go ahead and just making some kind of uh, 
very whimsical kind of clouds and then uh, for that harsh lining i'm just using that water to you know erase those lining which i don't like or you can put a lining there and i just mix them little bit so that you will get a very diffuse look of those um clouds and then i'm using here the crayons uh, now you can see that uh, my hand is moving so fast in real life did that did my hands move so fast no uh, this process is like three times faster like I, I make it three times faster so that i can show you in a one go all the techniques uh, basic techniques for that here i'm creating the grass just squishing the things so um, whenever we make a different kind of strokes uh, we add the fun movement as well as the fun voice to it like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. so this voice gives that movement of making the grass i know it's very silly um, but yeah and when we are doing a really integrate things and um, you know the small things where you have more precision that we hold a breath take a deep breaths before doing that and then we draw that line so it should be perfect so line and making a line making a things um making a handwriting on the paper and our um taking a breath the how many breaths we are taking it's it's really uh combining both things to get more things so now i have this small small uh, leftovers and i'm using those for making the leaves you can go crazy and make small and you know variation in these leaves some are the bigger some are the smaller and that will give you a bit more you know interest in your painting or your uh, drawing or craft project or this greeting whatever you call it and then i'm just putting those um uh, there and then this small strip it is the left over from that piece i will use them like a uh, stems to it and then i thought oh i don't have enough of them i have more flowers than i needed so i just trim out that uh, green piece which is already textured and nice and you can see that we can putting there those things things putting combined together now here is only one tip uh, you should remember that kit in kids um section you will get that purple all purpose glue i don't mostly use that because it mess up the project and same time it is not gluing that properly and uh, after some days that glue gonna dry and that the portion will come out uh, so if you want to do all these efforts and taking all these efforts to make these cards or art project whatever you say um you can go ahead and use that white glue uh the liquid glue that will be okay and but don't use that purple glue that going to mess up your project as this we are using the watercolor paper it is a little bit thicker in size uh and if you want to make all this technique works i'll always suggest take a uh, little bit thicker or drawing paper don't go with the printer paper because it will not give you that kind of effect and then you will say oh it's not looking that way which i'm imagining it then i'm just putting those stuff to you know place a little bit weight on the flowers and the leaves so they can stuck together as i told you these are little you know heavier weight paper so it it takes a little bit time to stick uh, if you have any ha book you can put the book also there i just showing you that what you can do at the same time i'm using the same paint uh, and i'm just adding the more details and veins now whatever i'm making here it's pretty basic and pretty simple uh, if you're not getting this in the first go uh, you will get it in the second go and if you get it in the second go you can add more textures more leaf and you can elevate your projects that way also and always do the combo of 3 or 5 it's a kind of a, a design rule it's going to look nice on the project whether you are doing any art project whether you are doing the uh, card making or anything and these are the small uh, things that you know elevate little bit of your project and still your kid can do and now this is uh, not the full 5 by 7 sheet it's having little bit Uh, lesser than that and you can still see that it will it is giving me that nice frame all over like the white frame and that is going to tie together very nice now here you can add more stickers or stuff like that mm, i just add little bit dash and dots there uh 
I just want to, I don't know, I just want to keep it very simple. I just want that this card, like kids should do these cards and you know, uh, they should enjoy uh, these cards and non-crafter, the non-painter uh, can do these things uh, so that they'll enjoy the process. And uh, this is the another card. Now you can go ahead uh, back to your project when they are dried and you can see what else you can add more. Uh, what else you can do so they look more beautiful. Like here I decided to add that uh, Sharpie highlighter. And it is very vibrant in color and it looks so nice. You can add some of inside of your cards the same thing also. I didn't do in this project but you can go ahead and add some small doodle flowers or handwriting of your kid or how much they love their teacher or whatever recipient you are giving this card. And going back and forth to your project always give an opportunity to add more things in your project. And then I have some leftovers, so I thought why not create some card with the leftover. So when I was a kid, I used to make that paper mat which we weave together, you know, having the paper strips and then we have to weave that mat. And uh, it looks so beautiful. Um, we will show you one day and it is very easy like everyone can do it. Now I have this uh, leftover pieces, so I just decided to getting inspiration from that and I'll add a little bit more here but I'm not weaving a mat here I'm just adding a stripes vertically and horizontally and then I'm using the paper to make us like to thanks or my sentiment and I'm using um, that there so you can see that the simplest card you can create this simplest card so fast and so easy you can make these papers in a bulk here I make only one but uh, it is so easy to make that you can make at a time 10 or 12 and then just put them uh, in the night for drying and then you will get a uh, nice backgrounds for these things now another thing is you can add these punch holes i bought this punch hole and that will also give you a nice uh, thing you can just add those punch holes and you will get the small small dots you can paste those small small dot, dots in various shapes here i'm just putting this as an embellishment but you can create a beautiful mandala design with them you can put them in a row you can put them in a circle draw a pencil line and put them and this will be kind of a dot connecting project for your kids and it's so awesome the same way you can create a tags also like here we do all this stuff on a card our card base is a little bit bigger you can cut them in a three by um five or three by four or two and then you can see that you can create a tags with them for a birthdays or gift tags and um, that will be the awesome things again so um here i thought whenever i make the cards my thought process particularly for this one is they should be the very very simple cards like very simple so i'm trying to use all the supplies uh, which is like very simple like here i'm using the ruler scale every kid have that ruler scale and a uh, pencil and i'm just creating here a pattern and you can see that i'm not much precise it go wonky it go little bit here and there but i don't mind it um just creating that movement is more important for me and get it with the flow sometimes perfection when kids do the things perfection is not important the way they put the love and efforts in their projects um, can get through those cards or projects you can see and then here i am just making a pattern with that chisel tape now i am showing here one pattern but you can go crazy and you can create your own pattern as i told you ask your kids to do that and they will give you more better ideas than i can and then I just add these markers now what is the fun thing about the chisel tape marker that they will already uh, put a nice um, thick line on your card piece so you can double it um, if you are using the thinner liner but chisel tip makes everything so easy and it's gonna pop and looking so bright it so you can see that i can do this i can do that means it's like possibilities are endless you can go ahead and do whatever you like and if you want the more polished uh, things like 
if you want to write very nicely if someone having a good handwriting in your home you can ask them to write very nicely cursive writing or calligraphy you can write a thanks a teacher a bunch of love or whatever you want according to occasion or you can make bunch of this card don't write any sentiment on them okay don't write any sentiment on them and then whenever you need it just grab one card and put the sentiment on it according to your occasion or according to your need but i think this is a really nice weekend project uh, with the kids and um, you can fill this whole uh, thing with the color you can put the pop of white there i decided to add little bit of that uh, you know fluorescent yellowish green color to the project um, but you can go ahead choose choose whatever colors you want ask your kids to go with their favorite colors and you will create a nice nice projects out of it i hope you are enjoying today's project it is very simple nothing much but still i want to share and uh, sorry my kid is not with me in this project because um he is outside he is in the school at that time i create all this stuff uh but yeah but you can do that and black outliner black uh, sentiment always pop the things out of it and you can see we create this small small cards today so i hope you enjoy today's project let me know if you want to see more projects like this just put a one comment that you want to see more ideas uh, with all these supplies and i'll make sure that i'll make that video uh, for you guys and until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye